Welcome back to Games and Gears, everybody. Today is just a quick little rundown of the interior features and some of the you know optional stuff you can get with a 2018, and since this carries over mainly to 2019, uh, Miata, uh, we should say Mazda MX-5, but a Miata GT. So for being a relatively inexpensive car and having um, you know limited space there are actually a lot of really cool features if you have a Miata an ND Miata you know what to expect here so this is mainly just for people that kind of tune into my channel or just randomly through searches find this um, and just are curious what could come on this tiny little car uh, you know um, so let's just get right to it and I'll just sort of start over here uh, you know on my left hand side and then kind of move across the car showing you the different features that are inside okay the first thing is actually the uh, traction control, the blind spot monitoring slash cross traffic alert, and then the lane keep assist. What I really like is that the uh, traction control right here, it's also the stability control all in one. And if you push it, it just goes off. Sorry, I had to click that. Um, that may sound like the smallest thing in the world to people, but so often today, you have to hold down the brake and push those buttons down for like five seconds or so to get them to actually activate. So it's nice to actually have a button that's just a one tap and you turn off traction control and stability control. Lane keep assist, I keep off. In fact, you can see right now I have it off. And the really cool thing here is again, unlike a lot of cars nowadays, it doesn't reset every time you turn on the car. So if I don't want lane keep assist because it's a little sensitive and it annoys me sometimes, I tap it boom I haven't turned it back on since basically the first day I had the car and here's the blind spot monitoring slash cross traffic alert which is really helpful because when you're in this car with the top up you can see there's a decent blind spot so it's actually something that really comes in handy and is uh, certainly not just some throwaway feature I know the RF comes standard with that uh, feature right there and when you're in this tiny car and you're backing out of a spot it's nice to have uh, you know, have it serve as like a cross traffic alert. You can uh, tell if someone's shooting up behind you. Okay, so in here, you just kind of have your typical gauges, uh, your tachometer and your speedometer there, but then you have a little digital gauge here. Sorry, I was trying to avoid the glare as much as possible today, but it just gives you your basic, uh, you know, temps and uh, both outside and of course, you know, water temps there and um, your average MPG your mileage, your fuel gauge. It's just kind of a nice little feature. Um, you know, to have it be digital, it just looks kind of classy and upscale, and yet the stuff that you really want to be analog, that you want to depend on to be super accurate, uh, you know, every millisecond, your tack and your speedometer, I like that they're analog and not digital. And I like that the tack is front and center and fairly large. Right? And you have all your button controls right here. You can control, of course, your volume for the audio, all of your call and your commands right there, um, you know, call commands and then uh, voice commands right there, um, back and, um, you know, forward as far as skipping through tracks. Your info button just jumps through things like current MPG. Again, let me see if I can get past this stupid thing. So you just, I'm tapping the info button, my average uh, MPH that I've racked in so far. And of course, if I hold down the info, I can reset that. So right there. Uh, range, average MPG, and then this is your current average MPG if I was actually driving. For example, on the freeway, it would tell me I'm like at 36, 37 or something. So I'm going to go back to my average MPG there. All right. <clears throat> of course, we have cruise control, off and on and cancel. And then, you know, these are things like setting the cruise control, resetting, all of that. Okay. Then we have push button start. Again, that's standard actually on all of the Miatas, which is really nice. In the GT, you get this nice little like uh, you know bezel trim for uh, the automatic climate control, which again is a GT feature. Heated seats right down here for the leather seats that are a GT exclusive. And then we have you know, the speakers and the headrests right there. Um, I don't really need to get into this much, but I do want to say just how nice the interior is for how quote unquote budget and small this car is. All the plastics feel really soft and kind of textured, um, you know, so they're really nice. And you have this nice little brushed uh, kind of look here. It's not super shiny to catch, you know, the uh, the sun and glare. You have the nice red stitching everywhere from, you know, here in the steering wheel to over on the side. 
can also color match interior panels up here. And then again on the e-brake, the shift knob, all of that. Just a great shifter feel. Yeah, I'm just sitting in neutral here enjoying the AC. So um, <clears throat> uh, the car uh, also seems to do a really good job on that topic of cooling and heating the car very quickly. Um, <clears throat> down here you have something that's a little bit divisive. So for example, like if I wanna go back to the home, I go from the navigation to here, and then you just kind of turn this knob to go between different uh, selections of settings uh, for the touchscreen itself, navigation, communication, entertainment, and then applications. And then you just do a little push and it will take me into the app section of HD radio traffic, fuel economy monitor, vehicle status monitor. So again, you kind of go through this and just clip through the different settings. Um, these are kind of like the boring stuff, but what is kind of neat is the uh, fuel economy monitor, for example, will monitor kind of a minute by minute thing, give you an overall average. Average this drive is really low because I've been sitting here idling with the AC on. One of the other reasons I wanted to bring that up. Right. <clears throat> so then we go like, for example, we touch the music button here. I have the music turned off. Um, but that's where you can go in and sort of like tune, uh, go to your Bluetooth uh, options, uh, go to XM radio, you know, the kind of standard stuff. I don't think I need to sit there and mark through all of that. But then uh, the last button here, because we've already covered the home button and the music is to hit the nav button right here. It takes you to navigation and you can pinch the screen back out, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Um, there we go, just setting it back to normal. I tap right here, I can set my destination. You can um, sort of mess with the different views, set them to 2D or 3D. Uh, you can go into settings and change all of your settings if you wanna take toll roads or if you wanna allow HOV lanes and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so it comes very nicely equipped if you buy the GT Everything I just showed you is standard on the GT. Some of these things are options like the heated seats and the navigation in the club, but um, everything I just showed you is completely standard if you buy the GT, which is one of the nice things about it. Everything from the safety features, you know, all the way to just kind of like this, this trim that is GT exclusive, heated seats are standard, navigation standard, and you get the Bose nine speaker stereo system with the you know, perforated leather with the speakers in, in your uh, headrest right here. You also get a, uh, a slightly modified top. It's a little more insulated. You can set up uh, to have three um, garage doors uh, to open just with one button press, which is nice. And for 2018, possibly for 2017, but for 2018, slightly thicker visors. Again, who cares, but what the hell, right? I'm throwing that on out there. Okay, so there's the little interior tour. You know, it's it's nicely equipped. You do have some safety features, a lot of things that are set to memory, like you don't have to turn off, again, uh, the like lane assist stuff every time, or if you wanna turn off uh, cross traffic alert and blind spot monitoring, you push that off and it stays off. Uh, one button press for the traction control, though that does reset, the traction control and the stability control. But still, you start up your car, you tap one button, and the car is as, as freewheeling as it's gonna be. And then all of your lovely little uh, steering wheel controls, and you know heated seats, and navigation, and a nice sound system. It's, it's a really nicely equipped car. The GT, usually when you can get it on sale, is hovering around $30,000. Um, as I just mentioned in my last video, the 2018s are down to like 25 or so um, for the GT model. So I think it's a good deal. And it's just a really comfortable car uh, and well-equipped car for how small it is. Uh, but that's really all I have to say. Um, the only other thing I guess I could mention is of course you have automatic um, windows, you know. Uh, automatic down, I should say, um, and you have automatic headlamps. I guess that's the last thing I do wanna mention. Sorry, the GT also comes with the swivel headlamps and the automatic um, uh, brights. So you can just set your brights on and if it detects a car coming your way, it'll auto dim and then when the car passes, go back to brights. So pretty cool features, again, all in the GT as standard. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed this little quick rundown of my 2018 ND Miata. And take care. God bless. See you all in the next video.